I just came down there. Very, very steadily, but now I've got this little rapid ahead of me, so hopefully we'll make it through all right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I survived that first section. And yes, you've probably guessed, I'm in the canoe. So basically I was meant to be on one of my very good friends, Stag Do's. So if he's watching, I'm sorry I didn't come. My passport didn't come in time, a bit uh, unfortunate, but these things happen unfortunately. So I thought, because I'm a little bit, uh, got a little bit of the, the FOMO, so I thought I'd cheer myself up with a little canoe camp. So I'm gonna basically, I've just dropped in the water of Cholliford. I'm gonna make my way, it's probably about six miles back to Hexham. Uh, I'm gonna make my way back, stop halfway, have a camp, and then, yeah, gonna enjoy this one, I think. Um, that first section was pretty tricky. I, I thought I could maybe go around it, but when I got there, it was basically over or backwards. So I thought, over. Um, a bit of the, the daredevil in us took over and I just, dropped on off so yeah basically i'm gonna have a nice camp tonight i've got some lovely food so uh, if you like watching me cook some stuff on the fire got, got a classic but with a with a country twist that's, that's what i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna say so i'll leave uh, leave the imagination to you but yeah i'm gonna have to push on because i've got some miles to make up so yeah see you in the next one Line behind me. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, we're gonna have to change direction here. Go on the side. It's quite strong current, stronger than I thought, to be fair. As you can probably see, I'm wet. Because well, I've been going down some rapids, like some pretty mental ones. I didn't expect it to be like this. I thought it would be nice going. Uh, obviously I can't have the phone out while I'm doing that because it's just my phone, it's not a camera, so... I've been going down these rapids and then like beaching on a rock halfway down them and then like going. Made it through all them, never fell in once. It was actually when I went to go to the side because I ended up having to be in the middle of the, the canoe and I wanted to be at the back. So I just tried to switch from the middle to the back and I bloody fell in. Typical. Um, some sort of fish just jumped out in front of us and I cracked myself. I think, I mean, it has been very dry in the UK for the last couple of weeks, so I think the water level's just not that high enough. I think uh, I'm going to struggle to get all the way to Hexham, to be honest. Um, hopefully it gets deeper as I go down, because um, it's definitely wi uh, widening the river. Uh, but I'm still enjoying myself. I mean, come on, how can you not? I might be wet, but it's a glorious day. It keeps spitting anyway, so I was going to get wet, regardless of if I fell in or not, so I don't really care. I'm just here to enjoy myself, do you know what I mean? And how can I not? It's absolutely stunning. Did you hear that? That was thunder. Oh god, I'm not going to get stuck in a thunderstorm, am I? actually thunder, but that cloud's went over me. Oh god. <laughs> I may have made a mistake tonight. fell in again um, <laughs> it was just one of them where I was going towards a rock because the, the water is so low I'm just hitting all the rocks as soon as I start going towards the rapids I'm just beaching it on a rock 
and then it'll slowly turn us and then I'll hit another rock and it basically when the current hits it it just overturns it um, so I just came off to the side and the heavens just unleashed I just got underneath a tree when it happened uh, I've suck refuge with all these midges hence why I'm like covered up um, but then it looks like it's stopping and the sun's starting to shine through so to be honest it looks like the worst rapids are yet to come they look quite ferocious which I am hesitant because they've been quite bad hopefully that little bit of downpour has raised the, uh, the water level so it might be a bit smoother sailing but I've probably done about two mile in like an hour and a half and it's starting to get later. It's it's about half five now. I need to set up camp soon because I'm wet. I need to dry everything off. So yeah, definitely, I definitely got wet, the bag got wet, but the only thing that's actually wet in the bag is my sleeping bag, so that'll dry out quite quick. My shoes got wet, I mean that, yeah, that happened. They fell in. As I was getting out, I was slipping all over the place trying to grab my bag, and my, my shoes went in. But it doesn't matter, all these things can dry, it's bloody middle, middle of summer. It's what I wanted, a little bit of risk. So I've had a bit of a bit of a failure today. I've brought loads of nice food, but basically I've only brought a lighter. I mucked up really because I asked I asked Megan if she had a lighter in the house, and she said yeah, and I didn't grab it off her. And I knew that mine was out of gas, so it just has the flint. Which basically I thought to myself, well, I can, I've got my toilet roll and Vaseline, I can just basically light a fire off that. So all is good. And then when my back, uh, bag got wet, the toilet roll got wet as well. So that's that idea out the window. So basically it's coming on to half seven now. It's a bit pointless me trying to make a bow drill. I've got some bread there, so I might just eat that for my tea. Um, yeah, I've got some chocolate orange as well, so I guess I guess that's going to be my tea. <laughs> chocolate orange and brioche buns. I'm a little bit gutted as well because I had venison burgers. And they would have been fantastic. I've got sausages for the morning as well, which I can't really have them, so I'm just going to have to save a bun. Which isn't ideal, but it is what it is, really. So funny that I bought all that food. I bought everything. It was going to be fantastic and then I don't bring a lighter, of all things. But, you live and learn, eh? We'll make these mistakes sometimes. I go camping every single weekend and I forgot a lighter, of all things. I wouldn't care, I was going to bring my jet boils, at least I would have had the, the uh, stove off that, so... And I didn't, because I thought, oh, well, I don't need it. Fool. So... Failure. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've earned a beer at the very least. I don't know if you can see that behind me, but Jesus Christ, this river just does not get easier. I thought it would get more full as it goes down, it's getting shallower. Whew. God damn, I'm knackered. I had obviously limited food last night and I bloody feel it today. I've had two bread buns this morning, which I mean is enough, but Christ, I've just done a lot of work there just to get over. Probably about half a mile. It took us about an hour. 
All right, I'm gonna crack on now, so I'll get it out next time it mellows down. Hopefully it stays like this for a bit. I think I'll probably stop the video here. Um, probably about two mile away, but I think my battery's gonna die. Sorry for the failed attempt of a camp and a canoe. But I've survived, I've made it back. I haven't had to ring my girlfriend to come pick me up. So, to be honest, I wish, there's a lot of things I wish I'd done differently, but you live and learn. Next time, I'm gonna get my head out my ass and actually plan it, because I just kind of winged it. Yes, it's been fine, but it could have been better. If I knew it was going to be like this, I probably would have put my wetsuit on, to be honest, because I'm absolutely drenched. It doesn't matter, it's summer. But, you know. Right, I'm going to have to put you away because the wind's picking up. I'm going to go towards the rocks. At this point, about a mile away from the finish line, I was reflecting on all the failures that I'd done during this trip. And it was still just nice to be out, a very historic and personal river to me. I was passing Roman forts, old railway bridges, just absolutely beautiful. And all I can think is I hope someone didn't see me fall in that many times. It would have been hilarious. If you like the content, like and subscribe. Hopefully next time I'm a bit more successful. Thanks guys.